Welcome to this video on the Data Video NVS40, a four input streaming encoder. In this video, I want to talk to you about the settings and the setup of the NVS40 and a little bit tips and tricks on how to do a little IP switching with the NVS40. If you're watching this video with the idea in mind that I'm going to explain to you how to connect it to your laptop, I have to disappoint you, but I've linked a video in the description below to a how-to tutorial. So without further ado, please bear with me uh, for this overview of the NVS40 settings. This is the main page that you would see when you open up the uh, NVS40 uh, website on your laptop. And you can immediately see in the top right the four available uh, physical inputs. These four inputs will come back on each and every page of the NVS40 setup. In the source section, you can select HDMI and for the first physical input, you can also select SDI because that one also has an SDI input. The second, third and fourth physical input only have HDMI. All four inputs can also decode an IP stream coming into the NVS40. This means that the NVS40 is not only an encoder, but it's also a decoder that you can, be, can use to have IP streams coming in. More on that later. So on each available input, you, have, you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the hue, and the saturation, the XLR. You can apply or reset those settings, and on this status window down here, you can immediately see if your settings have effect. So this is the encoder page. On the encoder page, you can make all the encoding uh, settings. So you can uh, select the resolution, the frame rate, the bit rate, and you can select that for the main encoder. So each available input has a main encoder and a sub encoder. So that means that the NVS40 can output not four, but eight streams. And even more, because there's also a program output. More on that later. So the main encoder is the first encoder and the sub encoder is the secondary encoder. So for instance, you can use this to select the main encoder for a video to your website in high quality and the sub encoder for mobile use. The encoder is also being used on the recording page, the next one. So that means you can have the main encoder for recording and the sub encoder for streaming as well. So this is the recording page. Again, on the top right, you can select the channel that you want to record or the program, in, uh, program output. And you can select a file name using these shorthand codes. There you can embed the year, month, date, and time on the recording file name. You can select file type, MP4, TS, or MOV, and a duration, or you can select unlimited. Down in the bottom right corner, you can start or stop recording. So and these are the streaming settings. The streaming settings are meant to be used to connect the NVS40 to your favorite streaming network or your own DVS200 server. Again, you can select main streaming or sub streaming. So you can have the secondary stream going to a different location. And this is the CG overlay function. This is also truly unique for the NVS40. You can select up to four layers of CG. And that can be text, again with the shorthand codes to embed date and time, the size of the text, location, X and, X and Y uh, coordinates, and the foreground color or the text color. But you can also select a picture. So you can embed a, a logo, for instance, from your channel on the stream. And this is the program output. As said, this is the, 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 the ninth uh, available stream. You can select a quad view so you can monitor or you can stream out the four, avail the four available physical inputs. Or you can choose one for full screen. There's also picture over picture in which you can choose which channel you want to see large and the other three channels are small. Picture by picture you can select the left and the right channel. And picture in picture you can select the large and the small channel. So now I want to give you a little tip on, do, on how to do some IP switching. As you've just seen, you can have four IP streams coming in from the outside. If you select those four IP streams, 
and you select full screen, you can use this as a switcher. So channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. If you attach an HDMI cable onto the HDMI output of the NVS40, you can use this in your further broadcast as an IP switcher. It's a truly unique feature. This is the monitoring settings. This is the HDMI output. So you can select a frame rate 60, 50, 30, or 25. And you can uh, adjust the embedded audio volume. This is the system settings with IP settings, account settings, firmware update, disk format, all the options that you want to do on the system. This is a detailed status page. You've already seen this top portion but this is the rest streaming and recording status and disk information where you can see if your disk is full and these are the advanced settings. So the NVS40 is truly a very easy to use and a very thorough streaming encoder with a lot of professional features that you would never find in other streaming encoders, especially at this price point. If you're interested in NVS40, please take a look at our website linked below for more information. And you can also find the where to buy area where you can find the local, your local data video representative. And if you want to know more about data video as a company, please don't forget to follow us on social media. You can find all the information down below. Thank you.